Hi, I'm Lauren from Lemon Sky Photography and I'm here today um, to record a live video of a complete start to finish newborn edit using the LSP Actions. The LSP Actions, for those of you who don't know, are um, collections of Photoshop actions that I have created. Uh, for newborn and family photographers. My actions are used by some of the best photographers in the world exclusively um, and we have also this year won a Photography Software of the Year Award with the SWPP. Um, this was voted worldwide by over 7,500 photographers have voted LSP Actions Professional Photography Software of the Year uh, which is absolutely fantastic. If you are new to Photoshop Actions um, they are simply pre-recorded steps in Photoshop. Okay, there is obviously a lot more to them than that, but that is the basics. So instead of you going click, click, click and editing every image painfully by hand, an action in one click can play up to 800 steps um, to do it all for you. It literally is like you click play and you paint on. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that with this start to finish edit of this little baby here. Um, as you can see, there are quite a few things to fix in this image. Um, this area here, baby's skin, um, and then depending on what finish you want to go through, whether you want to keep it natural or warmer, darker. Um, so we're going to go through a few different options. When you first come into Photoshop, if you've never used Actions before, for LSP Actions, I will show you here, you simply go to the website www.lsp-actions.com and you can find a lot of information here about LSP Actions, um, about who we are featured by, and the collections that you can buy. So for example, today I'm using the Signature Newborn Collection, uh, which is the best seller. You can see there's 78 real-time reviews here, as well as reviews on the bottom, so please do read through the reviews. If you're put off using Actions um, for any reason, um, this is why I'm going to show you these today. You can simply add them to your cart here, uh, download straight away, and they will appear in your Photoshop. You don't have to do any installing aside from double clicking on the Actions palette. You can come up to here, Window. I mean, you, you can just click the Play button here, that will show your Actions. If you can't see that, Window, Actions, and they will appear here. This is the LSP Signature Newborn Collection for Photoshop. It's in a folder and you can see all of the actions included here. There are manual actions, paint on actions, finishing touches, black and white actions, uh, Facebook resize, everything is here for you. So you can see um, right now all the actions have a play icon next to them. You can simply click the action and press the play button down here. But I don't like using actions in this mode, I like using button mode. So you come up here and click button mode and you can see I've color coded all the actions for you and put them into sets to make it super easy to use. You don't even have to click play, you just click the action and it will play through. So I'm going to show you how these actions work. If you have any questions or, um, or you're in any way confused about Photoshop actions, please visit the LSP website, click on the support or the blog section, and you can watch many more videos and read troubleshooting and FAQ guides there about what actions are. Okay, so to get started on any newborn edit, I always start up here with a complete baby quick fix multi-layer base set. So you click that, it's playing out now. This is playing many, many commands to set you up with all the layers you need for a base edit on your baby to get started with. And it's done. You can see here, this is in a folder, so I can close this folder here and turn it on or off. Here are the actions. Each action, each layer that's been set up has a black box next to it. So you need to go onto your brush tool here, select white, and I normally use 100% opacity and around a 25% flow to get started. Make sure you click on the black box and you can simply start painting to reveal the effect of the action on your image. These actions are non-destructive. They won't change um, the base layer of your image. They won't change the quality of your image. Um, they are very, very non-destructive, so you can rest assured the quality will still be there. So I've clicked on, I'm going to drag this out a little bit here so you can see. We have soft skin, reduce the reds, cheeks and lips, paint away the yellow, warm skin tone, bring back details, paint away shine, darken areas, brighten up more, and this is an intense brighten or just brighten up baby. These are the first starter sets on the Complete Baby Quick Fix set. You can, of course, play any of these individually as you carry on. You can play them more than once if you want to. So this is an introduction of how to, um, how to set up um, and run your Photoshop action. So I'm going to get started with this little baby here. First of all, I'm going to go reduce the reds. The reduce the reds is very, very light going um, in this set. 
in the Complete Baby Quick Fix, remember, we're just setting up a light base. So I'm just brushing this over any areas that are very red. I'm going to tackle these areas a bit later on. I'll show you how. I've deliberately chosen, um, I'm on cheeks and lips now. I've deliberately chosen a baby um, with some areas of the skin that you may want to correct. Paint away yellow, I don't need that here, so I'm going to skip that. Warm skin tone, I can simply start brushing this over. This gives a kind of a light, slightly warmer, um, creamy skin tone effect. Bring back the details. This is great for brushing onto the eyelashes and lips. Anywhere else you wish to bring the details back. So I'm just going to brush that over the eyebrows and lips. Paint away the shine if you have an area of shine on the end of the nose or anything like that, you can paint that away. Darken areas, I'm going to leave that for now, brighten up. I may just use this brighten up so you can see I'm on the black mask. And I'm just going to use this to brighten baby's face a little. Can you see changing there? Okay, so it may look not look like we've done a lot for our base edit, but if I turn this off and on again, we can see there is a difference already. I'm going to take a copy of the original layer, um, the original background, and um, put this as a new image over here so we can go back and revisit it afterwards. And I'm going to flatten the image down. At this point, I'd recommend you save. So you can see I'm on a raw image here. I've opened from Lightroom. I'm going to hit Control or Command S to save, and you will see it's changed into a TIFF because this is opened from Lightroom, but don't, you don't need to worry about that. So I'm going to play now, reduce the reds, as you can see this is set up instantly with a black box that I can paint on in a minute. I'm also going to warm up purple skin. Um, what else am I going to use? I'm just setting up a few here. I may use Peachy Skin Magic. Um, I think I'm going to use Soft Skin Natural and maybe Grey Skin Booster. The good thing about these is you can play them, you can turn them on or off. I'm going to add a subtle contrast there too. You can play these actions, you can turn them on or off, um, you can affect the opacity, you can paint them on or off. It is entirely uh, your call. They are completely user-friendly and they leave you with the result you want. Uh, they are different to a plug-in. They're not a plug-in. They're not an external program. They're, these are actually designed in Photoshop for Photoshop. So there is no way these don't work because they use Photoshop's utilities to work. So I'm going to use a little bit of warm up purple skin. This baby isn't too purple, just a bit cold looking, so I may find this a little bit strong, and if it is, I'm simply going to just turn the opacity down. But in actual fact, I think that's fine. So you can see I'm just kind of dabbing this over any areas that I wish to warm up. Peachy Skin Magic. This adds a soft peachy um, sheen to the skin. You can use this for babies of all skin tones. It just has a warm, um, a warm light touch to the skin. Grey Skin Booster. I think I'm going to use this one with a large brush, generally all over here, because you can see the um, the brown of this blanket is also a little, a little washed out looking. I'm also going to even out this background as well. Okay, I like that. And again, I'm going to flatten. So that's where we were. Uh, this is where we are now. I'm going to tackle at this point. I always leave um, spots and flakes and things like that um, until towards the end of the edit. And then I edit the big things like this, um, maybe around halfway through when I've started kind of um, organising my edits a bit more. I'm going to make a copy of the background layer. And to remove this, I'm going to use the LSP Select and Fix Action. You can simply select a lasso tool up here, your marquee, patch, anything you can use that will make a selection. And I'm going to go over the area that I don't want to keep in there anymore. And I'm going to play Select and Fix. This will get rid of it. And I can simply tidy up these areas using patch or select and fix again if I want to. I'm also going to use the crop tool now to, um, you know, crop in a little bit more how I want this image to look, which I very rarely do that first as well. So I'm quite happy there. Okay. Now let's work on the skin. 
You can see we have some flakes, some little red spots, some areas. You'll notice that I haven't softened the skin yet. I'm going to do that in a moment very, very lightly. But I also believe in keeping the baby's natural skin texture as much as is possible. So I'm going to play Go Away Reds Extra. This gives an extra boost to the uh, your normal Go Away Reds action, which is here. Reduce the reds. You actually have Go Away Reds Extra, which is just a little bit of an extra boost. So I'm going to use Go Away Reds Extra to paint over these areas. And you can see them now toning down. These are birthmarks, um, so I don't want to get rid of them completely. But at the same time, the mother of this baby did ask if I could. But always do check. So there's an area here where I would think I would quite like to get rid of those reds a little bit extra too. So that's go away reds extra. And perhaps lightly there. Okay, so this is why I leave um, detailed skin and spot editing until towards the end because you might well be able to um, lessen these areas down without the painstaking kind of cloning uh, and spot removing that we're all kind of used to. Okay, and I'm going to flatten that one down. Now I'm going to play Soft Skin Natural. This is a really lovely soft skin action. It doesn't use surface blur or anything heavy or destructive. It simply adds a really lovely softness to the skin, but still allows the original skin texture to show through if you want to. So I'm just going to lightly come over and give a kind of a glowing soft look to baby's skin whilst retaining baby's original skin texture. This will also lessen down any little spots and flakes, making them easier for you to remove. Okay, so any areas that kind of particularly need a little bit more softening, you know the areas I don't want the eye draw to, I will go over that. For example, this eyelid here. I've been careful not to paint over the details, but if I was to, I could simply swap to a black brush and remove what I've done so far. It's very easy to do. It's kind of like a scratch card. White shows and black hides. So that's where we started. And that's where we are now. At various times during my edit, I like to play the subtle contrast just to give a little bit of a boost back in. You can uh, change the opacity on this one. You can slide it up or down, um, higher or lower. I'm going to just take this off the hat a little bit. Okay, and flatten. That just brings a little bit more shadow out. So let's get rid of any of these tiny flakes that we don't want to show. And I'm going to use that. Um, larger flakes I would remove by hand, but tiny little flakes like this, I'm going to use the manual uh, remove flakes action here. Comes up with an instruction box asking you to first slide the radius up until all the spots and flakes start to disappear. And then you slide the threshold up so you get some natural skin texture coming back without the spots and flakes. If the spots and flakes start showing through, simply inch it back a little bit and hit OK, the action will uh, do quite a few more steps before it sets everything up for you. White brush, um, I recommend 100% opacity for this one because you really want to get in there and remove the flakes. You notice I'm just using a brush, I'm not using spot healer or anything like that. And I'm coming through, smoothing down and removing flakes in one swoop. If you find um, the settings you've made for this action aren't to your taste, if it seems a bit heavy or not heavy enough, you can simply just delete this layer and play it again. It's no problem. So this is how I remove flakes super quickly um, in Photoshop with the LSP actions. And again here, these are larger ones, so I wouldn't expect to remove those straight away. But all the small ones here, I'm simply going in 100% uh, zoomed in. Um, you don't really need to zoom in more than 100% for something like this. You know, you want to view the image as it is in its top resolution, which is 100%. Okay, and flatten. Now to remove the other flakes, I'm going to use patch tool. I also feel I've smoothed this area a little bit now, so I'm just going to patch this back in a little bit before smoothing, finishing smoothing. Okay. 
So for the other the other flakes, I'm going to use patch tool. But instead of um, using patch tool like this and then dragging and choosing an area to replace it with, I'm going to use the LSP select and fix action here. You will see in uh, brackets I've put F2 because F um, select and fix is actually shortcutted to F2. If you're in a Mac, this will be holding down function and hitting F2. So I'm going to draw around the blemish and simply hit F2. I don't even have to play the action because I've, I've corresponded that for you. So when you download the LSP actions, select and fix will be set for F2. So here I can simply go around, lightly selecting and hitting F2 to get rid of these marks. It's quite hypnotic really. So my finger is on the keyboard hitting F2, my other hand is on the mouse uh, or the tablet or whatever you prefer, simply drawing around any areas with spots, blemishes, flakes, anything like that to get rid of them. If it doesn't work, you're on patch tool anyway, you can simply drag it like so. I'd recommend doing both, but really once you get the hang of it and you get into the flow, it's probably the quickest part of your editing, um, fixing the skin up, which right now I'm guessing it's probably the most fiddly longest part of the editing. So I tend to spend longer editing you know, on the creative side um, rather than this. I'm going as slow as I can um, to make this um, viewable, but at the same time it's quite difficult for me because normally I would have been very much done with this edit by now. So I'm going very slowly to show you um, exactly what I would do in this case. <clears throat> Any questions? you can join the LSP Actions group. Um, you can ask me here. You can check out the web page in the FAQ. You can check out the reviews. Okay, so that's me with Select and Fix. I'm pretty much done with that and I'm happy. So I'm going to save that. Now I'm going to tackle this background. You see it's a lot darker here and it's a lot lighter here because of my lighting. So I'm going to play Dark and Baby Scene. White brush, um, back to normal um, on a lower flow, and I'm going to start darkening around here so we start matching the darkness of this side. And you can simply flatten and play it again. You can play it as many times as you need. So I'm going in with a bit of a larger darken now. So I want to start, I want the you know the attention to go to baby. I don't want the attention to be here um, on this, this too bright background. So I'm simply darkening down. Here you see I've darkened the wood quite a bit as well. I really want that focus to be in on baby. Let's have a quick recap of where we were when we started and where we are now. Okay, so I think this is really getting there now. I think I'm going to go for one more soft skin. I'm going to zoom in and I'm just going to come in lightly with this one now on any of those areas that still look a little bit blotchy, perhaps a little bit mottled or anything like that. I'm going to come in with the uh, the, the sharp and the lashes and details again just to really make them pop, just to really get that last bit of um, sharpness in there now because we want the eyelashes to look sharp and lovely, we want the skin to look soft and dreamy, we want baby to look how mama sees them, we don't want baby you know to look um, in any way unlike themselves, um, we don't want baby to look in any way over edited but at the same time you are creating a piece of art here. I'm going to warm the skin a tiny bit more in any areas that I feel a little bit cold. You will know if you've gone too warm because you will see yellow starting to appear so you can simply switch to black and brush that off. Rosy pink cheeks and lips, I was going to say chicks and leaps. And come in with a little bit of this. I don't add this here, I tend to add this around the edges creeping in. If it's too heavy, simply switch to black and take it off until you're happy. Okay, so now I'm quite happy with that. 
I'm going to uh, brighten that baby's face one more time and then I'm going to start adding some um, this is where you can get a little bit creative with your brightening you can dodge and burn a little bit like that and then I'm going to start adding um, some of the finishing touches to this image I'm just going to add a little bit of darkness coming around here if the dark is too much simply pull back the opacity on that layer And again, the subtle contrast that I like to play. So before and after, this is how we're getting on now. You will see you've got some complementary finishing touches in here. You have matte and blur background paint. That's if you want to blur and matte, mattify the background. Creamy matte finishing overlay, dark and woody finishing overlay, warm finishing overlay, peachy perfect, pastel pink, hazy white. Dramatic vignette, I'm going to play that one now. That will add um, exactly what it says on the tin, a dramatic vignette. If the vignette um, darkens your subject too much or an area too much, you can simply paint it off where you don't want it to show. So I'm deciding to paint this off here. And perhaps a little bit on this side, which to me looks a little bit too dark. Okay, and I'm going to flatten that one down. So let's have a look at some of these finishing touches here. There is matte. You can adjust the opacity. It comes up at 100%. You could add a little bit of matte in or not at all. There is the matte and blur background paint. We don't need that one. The creamy matte finishing overlay, um, which is really sweet, especially if you do, you know, a wooden um, image or anything like that. You can also paint this off your subject if you wanted to, again, or any areas that you don't want necessarily to look creamy matte. Um, I think which one am I going to go for? I may go dark and woody and take the opacity on this one down a little bit because I only want a tiny bit of that in there. And again, uh, remove this from the subject, I think. And I may go with the warm as well, warm this whole image up just a tiny bit. We've also got a sharpen action here, which will um, sharpen your image all over. As you can see, if I come in here... My image resolution isn't loading very well, it's being a bit slow. If we go somewhere like this where you can see some detail that's before and after the sharpen. So it really does add um, a nice sharpness in there. Subtle contrast again. I love the subtle contrast. It literally just tweaks it in before and after with that one. So I'm going to flatten this one. I'm going to copy here and paste it here for you. And I'm just going to line these two up so you can see um, what we've done. So that is before and after using actions only, no hand editing purely using LSP actions. I will pop that recipe on a card. And editing is all down to personal taste. You can edit entirely exactly how you want with the LSP actions. So I hope that helps. And just to recap, your actions are here on the play button or window actions and they appear. I think I may very quickly show you a black and white effect too. <coughs> Excuse me. So you have several black and white options to choose from in the same newborn set. This isn't a separate set you have to download. You get all of these actions in one set together laid out exactly as you see mine. So how about we go for standard elegant black and white. This is normally my, my go-to. So before and after, standard elegant black and white. If you wanted something um, a little bit deeper, you could go for rich mood or deep plush. Um, these are perfect if you're doing very dark background images. Um, and you can simply bring back some of the details or take the contrast off any areas that go a little bit too deep. <clears throat> so that's rich mood black and white there. 
you can see what a massive change that is to our image. Well, these actions are in groups, so you can simply open the group and you can take off the contrast or brush them off if you want to. The reason I um, the reason I uh, put these actions in groups in this way, so you can open them up and play with them if you wanted to. So that's rich mood. I'm going to put these recipe cards, like I said, um, underneath. And uh, this, this video will be available for you to watch whenever you like, if you want to come back to it. Um, thank you for sticking around. I hope that was an informative introduction to using Photoshop Actions, how to get Photoshop Actions and what they do, and how fast your editing can become with Photoshop Actions. Thanks. Bye.